everyone, before we get started, I wanted to invite you all to the official Drone Tech Politics Discord server. If you're not familiar with Discord, it's basically just a free software that facilitates video, audio, and text chat between users. It's a place where we can talk politics, trade links, and just hang out. I also plan on utilizing it for special contests and live streams that you'll only be able to see on Discord. I'll put a link in the description and pinned comment. So if you're curious, just come over and check us out. Especially in these crucial months before the election, and, and you can't do any of that right now. Mr. Vice President, does does that worry you? No, it doesn't worry me. My God, is he even still alive? He looks more reanimated than animated. It seems kind of desperate that they're hinging all of their hopes on this guy. Brooke Baldwin is clearly infatuated with this man as she practically cups his balls to set him up to attack Trump and blame him for the coronavirus. To his credit, Biden doesn't take the bait and actually says that he doesn't think Trump's to blame for deaths caused by the coronavirus. But then he does go on to baselessly claim that Trump isn't using all of his powers to stop it. I'm sure Biden would instantly just declare martial law and throw the Constitution out the window. Trump, being the guy who's actually in charge, has to tread very carefully when it comes to removing constitutionally protected rights. He believes the president's failure to act early on cost American lives. Mr. Vice President, do you think President Trump is responsible for the deaths of Americans? Your strength Really, your strength is in traveling around the country and connecting with people, right? Connecting with voters, looking them in the eye, a hug, a handshake. You can't do any of that right now. Mr. Vice President, does, does that worry you? Are those viruses floating on the screen behind her? Is she, like, supposed to be a virus? And that face she's making, what is up with that? So, back to this host, Brooke Baldwin. Have you ever seen such drooling lapdog behavior? Are we seriously supposed to watch this and think to ourselves, JOURNALISM? Of course, we've seen this kind of sycophancy in the media before, during eight years of Barack Obama. And make no mistake, if a Democrat gets back in the White House, the media is going to switch gears to promoting and protecting them and laying waste to their critics. Sorry to interrupt, but I have an important message for all my viewers. We are facing a global pandemic. Numerous cities around the world are now under a state of emergency. Prepper's Peak is offering a virus safety bundle that comes equipped with a mask, coveralls, gloves and goggles for an affordable price. If you're serious about taking the same precautionary measures as our servicemen and women, and you're serious about prepping for the worst, then you must consider investing in this potentially life-saving equipment. With an affordable price for everyone, Prepper's Peak introduces the ultimate safety suit, which includes a medical grade P100 particulate respirator, bound seamed coveralls, chemical splash safety goggles, and flock lined green nitrile gloves which heavily reduces the risk from dangerous viruses. Prepare now, and at the very least, you'll have the peace of mind of knowing you're ready. Just go to survivewithdronetech.com. That's survivewithdronetech.com. Mr. Vice President, does, does that worry you? <laughs> oh, she is so damn fake and obnoxious. What's up with her contorted, exaggerated facial gestures? It's almost as if her skull is trying to escape her face. I can't believe she's actually upset that Joe Biden can't go around the country groping and sniffing little kids. As a supposed journalist, you would think that she'd be way more interested in the alleged touching he did to his former campaign staffer. But no, not a single question about that. Do you realize that in the past couple months that Biden has been on all the networks for interviews and asked a total of 42 questions and not a single one of them being about these allegations? That's mind-blowing especially when you consider the media's standard to believe all women. They certainly reacted differently when the baseless allegations were being leveled against Brett Kavanaugh. I mean, they actually organized national women's marches in response. He's the type of person who could be so vile. And he lies about that, and he lies about whether or not he got the documents, and he's lied about what he's done to these other women. And he's a liar really big red flags to me, and this is just the latest one. I don't think Brett Kavanaugh takes women's pain very seriously. Kavanaugh simply refers to it as the accuser. Kavanaugh has lied multiple times. Kavanaugh's potentially lying, and that to me is disqualifying. Brooke Baldwin herself relentlessly hounded Brett Kavanaugh, yet for some reason didn't feel the need to ask a single question about it to Joe Biden. She was way too busy acting as his personal campaign hype woman. Unsurprisingly, his interview over at MSNBC was almost word for word what we heard at CNN. 
CNN. It's almost as if they coordinate on messaging. Again, what we get is a slobbering, sycophantic campaign ad that's made to look like a news interview. Joe Biden's been critical of the Trump administration's response to this coronavirus since January. It's been two long months now, and so today we asked him to assess the president's performance. Vice President, what is President Trump's level of culpability? What's his level of responsibility, uh, say, toward the illness and fatalities we're witnessing every few minutes these days? Of course he's being critical. He's Trump's political opponent. Of course he's going to take the opposite position to whatever Trump says or does. Biden has been very critical of Trump since January. Yes, he was very critical when Trump stopped travel from China, calling it xenophobic and racist. At no time during this sham interview did Brian, I can't do basic math, Williams mention or ask anything about these allegations. Even though Joe Biden has publicly come out in favor of the believe all women approach to justice. That's all for this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy this content and you want to support it, please do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.